In this video, we will be going over the Cisco IP Communicator. The IP Communicator is a Windows PC-based soft phone application that allows you to use your computer to make voice calls. To start off, we're going to go through a quick overview of the phone before demonstrating how it works. To get started, in the top right hand corner are the window control buttons. This allows you to view the menu, hide the application, or exit the application. On the top left hand corner, we have the date and time. To the right of that, we have the extension or phone number. To the right of the phone, we have the line buttons. Each button can represent a different extension. This is the display area. Right here, we have the soft keys. The soft keys will be different depending on the call type or state. A shortcut to these keys are F2 to F6 on your keyboard. Down below here, these three buttons represent the headset, mute button, and the speaker button. To the left, we have the keypad. This center button here is the navigation button, or the mouse. It's what you'll use to control the display screen. The option below the navigation or mouse button is the video call button. Please note, the video function on the IP communicator requires extensive setup from the IT department. This envelope is the voicemail button. This is how you'll complete your initial setup by pressing the button, listening closely to the prompts and following along, and finishing off by pressing the asterisk or the pound sign. This will ensure your changes have been saved. The voicemail button is also how you will check your voice messages. To the right of the envelope or the voicemail button, you'll see the directories button. This is where you'll find your personal or corporate directory as well as all your call history. Below the directories button, you'll find the settings button. This is where you'll find your user preferences. To the left of the settings button is the globe, which is your services button. Certain applications such as extension mobility will be found here. Below these four buttons, you'll find the volume button. This will control either your headset volume or your ring volume. Also, there's a ring light here to the left of the IP communicator, which looks like this. To conclude this overview, before moving on to demonstrations, we're going to talk about the help button or this question mark. If you ever have any questions over anything that we just talked about, simply hit the question mark button followed by the button that you need help on. It brings up a list of options that you can then use your navigator or mouse button to scroll down or up and choose the topic you have a question on, then hit select. We'll do another example help, services. Now we can move on to demonstrations. For the demonstration portion of this video, we will be discussing how to answer calls, how to place calls, caller ID, call waiting, hold, transfer, conference, We'll be discussing soft keys, extension mobility, and user preferences. Let's get started. When answering phone calls on the IP communicator, one can go about doing this in several different ways. You can answer the phone using the headset button, using your headset itself, the soft key, the line button, or the speaker button. We have the soft key, headset, speaker, line button, or you could always use your headset itself. If you'll notice during an incoming call, you'll see the caller ID on the display area as the call comes in. To place a call using the IP communicator, you can use the new call soft key, the headset button, the speakerphone button, or use the line key. You could always use the 
dial pad and then hit dial. I'll use the align button. Type it in and it rings. In this next section, I'm going to demonstrate call waiting, how to place a call on hold, how to transfer, and how to conference. In order to do that, I'm going to place a call into my IP communicator. Now that I have my first call into my IP communicator, I'm going to show you how to place a call on hold. First, you can see here, because I am in a phone call, my soft key buttons have changed. I now have a hold, end call, transfer, park, and more. As a note, each IP communicator is configured differently. Your soft keys may appear slightly different. In order to place my call and hold, I'm simply going to press the hold button. I can tell my call is on hold by the flashing pause symbol in the right hand corner. I can see the line button is flashing as well. To return to the call, hit resume. If I wanted to end the call, I would press the end call button. To transfer, I would hit transfer, type in the extension of which I wish to transfer to, and then hit the transfer button. To do a warm transfer, I would hit the transfer button type in the extension which I wish to transfer to, let it ring while I reach that person, speak to that person, then hit the transfer button once more. You do not have to hit the hold button in order to make a transfer. Simply transfer, extension, and transfer. If you'll notice, when I hit the transfer button, it automatically places my caller on hold. You'll also see here is a park button. If I were to press the park button, it would give me a park extension. This would mean that I could pick up that phone call from any other Cisco phone in the building. Every contact center varies on whether they have a park extension or what the park range of the extensions might be. For more information on your configuration, please contact your IT department. Now that we've demonstrated hold, transfer, and talked about some of the soft keys available, we're going to demonstrate call waiting. To do this, I'm going to place another call into my IP communicator. Through caller ID, I can see who's calling. If I hit the answer button, it's going to automatically place my caller on hold. While I have both callers on my display here, you can see that I can toggle between the two using the display area. Simply select and hit the resume button. It will automatically place my other caller on hold. In order to conference these two calls together, I would hit the more button, select join, select the other call, hit join, and this will conference the two calls together. Now that I have one call bar in my display area, I would like to see who I'm on the call with. Simply hit more, conference list, and it will display the names and numbers of the people that are on the conference call with me. If I'd like to add a fourth person to this conference call, simply hit the conference button. It will place my conference call on hold while I dial. If you were to add a fourth, simply hit the redial button. This will add a fourth in. Now we're going to talk about how to end a call. You can end a call one of several different ways. The first, by using the end call soft key, using the line button, the speakerphone button if you're on speaker, and the headset button if you're using your headset. Extension Mobility. It allows for the ability to move your extension from device to device. If your contact center is set up to leverage this feature, simply hit the Services button and you'll find it listed here under Services. 
This is where you would then enter your username and personal identification number or PIN number, which are required to access and set up Extension Mobility. For more information on your specific configuration and your personal username and PIN number, please contact your IT department. In order to access your preferences or user preferences, simply hit the settings button and select user preferences. You can also do this by selecting the number one on your keypad. Please note, the other options you see below will more than likely be locked down by the IT department. These are options that are pre-configured at setup. And you'll see you have the option to change your ringtone and background image.